Welcome back to Tim and Friends. It is induction weekend at the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Tons of big names going in, including former Major League pitcher Jeff Francis. And we are fortunate to have Jeff joining us now. Jeff, before we get into anything baseball related, we're asking everyone today because it is my birthday as a humble brag. Uh, the best birthday gift you remember receiving as a kid? Well, could it be anything other than a bike? I mean, I think every little boy's received a bike. It's the best birthday <laughs> present ever, I think. Did you ever get hurt riding that bike as a kid? I'm sure you did, actually. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But that's, that's part of it, right? I wouldn't yeah. expect anything else from my own children. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Uh, a pretty big gift as well, being inducted into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame with a loaded class. Again, we'll talk with them in a sec, but what does this honor mean to you? Uh, it's hard to describe, really. It's, it's, it's not something that motivates an athlete. It's not something you think about while you're playing, but, you know, it's been almost seven years since I, since I quit playing or retired, if you want to call it, I guess. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a phone call I didn't expect to get, but I, I, I really see it as a, as a chance to thank a lot of people who helped me appreciate the game of baseball, helped me learn to love it the way that I hope I can teach other kids to love it. And, um, you know, it's been a great joy to be able to play baseball, and I think I'll try to use tomorrow to, to thank a lot of those people who helped me as well. Yeah, I mean, you're not from too far away, right? London, Ontario to St. Mary's is a... Quick drive, what do you remember growing up going to the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame or what memories do you have early on from baseball there? Well, I've, I've, I've only lived in London about the last 20 years, but uh, growing up in BC, but I, I, mm. I, I know that when I did move to London, it was one of the first places I came. Mm -hmm. I, I had met many people who are organizers here who, who always put on a great event here on, on the weekend for the Hall of Fame. and. Um, it really shows what kind of history we have of baseball in this country, and I don't think a lot of people can appreciate. Um, I'm sitting in a room right now with faces on the wall that yeah, I can see that over your shoulders. Right? Never heard like, of, and yeah, and there's just so much history of, of this game in this country that I think um, really people could open their eyes to and really appreciate. Does it feel right going into it this weekend with a guy like Justin Murnau? I know you guys played a couple years of high school ball together, obviously on the national team at times together as well. A guy like you who's had a huge impact on the sport in this country. How appropriate is it that the two of you are kind of going in together? I think, I think it's perfect. I know Justin and I have remained friends for a lot of years. Um, Justin was a catcher uh, in high school, so we were the battery on a lot of teams mm -hmm. and, and in a lot of big games. Uh, we battled to, through a lot together, and, and it was fun to see him go on and have the career that he did. I, I'm sure he'd say the same um, because it's the kind of guy he is. So, you know, to share the stage with him tomorrow is, is a real treat, a, a really along too with, with a guy like Dwayne Ward, who both of us grew up yeah. watching with closed games for the Jays in the mid nineties. And someone like Pedro Martinez, who we all saw pitch for the Expos for a long time and, and dominate the major leagues for, for years and years and years. So really to share that stage with, with any of those guys is a real thrill. There will have been kids who have seen guys like you and Justin pitch in major leagues and feel inspired and influenced by that. I'm curious, what was your inspiration to continue to push to try to get this far? And was it uh, those Jays teams in the 90s that had all that success? I don't think there's any doubt the Jays had a big impact on, on kids my age. I think you saw registrations boom in the mm -hmm. mid-90s. Um, I, I think you saw it here, too, in the, in the mid-2010s when the Jays... And we're making playoffs year after year and had players like Bautista, Donaldson, and Encarnacion, and among so, so many others. You saw registrations boom across the country. So, um, you know, if I can have a small impact on that, you know, guys like Justin, Joey Votto, Larry Walker did it for me as a kid, Ryan Dempster, so many names, so many Canadians playing in the major leagues right now. If we can have a small impact on the game across this country and keep it alive, then you're only going to see more waves of talent and, mm -hmm. and hopefully the future's bright. Uh, the future is certainly bright with the team that resides in, in Canada, the Toronto Blue Jays. Tons of young talent. What impresses you about this team? Uh, well, I mean, the, the pitching is fantastic. Yeah. I, I think no one, no one's surprised with what Kevin Gossman's been able to do. But I, I really love, just love watching Alec Manoa as a young <laughs> pitcher. I can really appreciate just how tough he looks mentally on the mound. He's not intimidated by anything. He doesn't let any stare down bother him. He goes right after players, and he's been doing it since day one. He hasn't let any team, whether it's the Yankees or, or whatever, you know, it, it psych him out of, of pitching his game, and it's been so impressive. I try to think about myself as a young pitcher in this league trying to figure that out, and it was, 
it was a long learning curve, and it's been impressive what he's been able to do. How are you trying to pass that down? I know you're coaching uh, some of your kids. What's the difference between being a coach and, and being a player? That's a good question, and, and I'm still definitely finding that voice. It, I, I always thought as a player, my coaches, my best coaches were the ones who remembered how hard it is to play. And it wasn't always the best players who made the, most, the best coaches. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes players just can do things and they can't understand why others can't. <laughs> so when coaches can remember really how difficult it is to play, some of the best coaches were the coaches who never even played in the major leagues because they knew the struggle of the minor leagues. They knew uh, what it took really to, to last at that level and it, it wasn't a meteoric rise for them. So um, I'm still trying to find my voice. I, I'm trying, I, my kids are still young mm -hmm. and none of them are playing serious enough baseball <laughs> and trying to keep it fun. And that's really the way it should be. Yeah. And I imagine it's just fun for you to stay connected with the sport through a different avenue as well, through the family ties. It's, it's got to be lovely for you. It is. It's fantastic. I've also been involved with the junior national team program, yeah. which is the same program I came up through as a teenager. So, you know, those teenagers are so talented. They have, I, mean, I think just us being there, sharing our experiences with them can be valuable. I mean, the, the talent level across this country is, is only getting stronger. And if we can help those players, you know, figure out what makes them good pitchers or good hitters or good baseball players, then, you know, we can be a part of that program and help the, help the sport across the country. Uh, do you still keep close ties to the Avalanche? I know uh, they're trying to do a thing in Colorado right now. <laughs> uh, no close ties, although uh, once the, all the Canadian teams are eliminated, sure, I'll jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> but um, I guess always a Canucks fan at heart, but yeah. living out east. Yeah. Uh, I know people are watching this across the country. I can watch the Maple Leafs, but if the Canucks are ever up there again, <laughs> I, you, you can't coach it out of me. I love that, Jeff. Listen, congratulations, man. It's uh, <laughs> It's a wicked honor. It's a deserved honor. Your influence on this board has been unbelievable as well, and uh, it's well-deserved. Enjoy the weekend, Jeff. Thanks very much. I appreciate it.